Hey everybody, Chris Granger here with Electrical Equipment Company, coming to you live today for the Yaskawa 60 Second Challenge. Now we could have got a lot of engineers to do this for you, but they pulled me and I haven't pulled or touched a PLC in probably 15 years. So we'll see if I can actually get this going. Pretty excited, we got the, the Connected Power Lab here in Raleigh, North Carolina, really cool room. Inside the lab, we have the Yaskawa drive set up, ready to go. We also have our Rockwell, Control Logics PLC up on the wall. Pretty excited about this stuff. You'll also notice I don't have anything connected to my laptop. So we're completely wireless at this point. A little intimidating for me. Hopefully everything works. No gremlins get in here, ready to go. Okay. So we're going to go VPN to our Control Logics. I'll set up the Ethernet module there, connect the drive. And then afterwards, we'll actually run the drive. We have some add on instruction that our solution architecture team wrote. And we'll show you how that works to take it one step further. So without further ado, let me get my fingers right. I'm ready. All right. So the 60 second challenge, we shall see if Chris can pull this off. On your marks, get set, go. So we're going to go a generic Ethernet module. We'll call it ECO, the COM format. We'll change that to data INT. The input. We're going to do 71, 2. Then we'll go 21, 2. We'll go 1. The IP address, 192.168.14.227. Okay. We're going to change this to 100 milliseconds. And we're okay. And boom, we got it. So we are at 38 seconds. So I guess it's, it's proved to show just anyone can do it, okay? Now we actually have a section that we created, our solution architecture team did. Okay, our mastermind put this together. We want to share this with everybody. So inside Studio 5000, we actually built in some code. So we have everything from the add-on instructions built in here and you'll see that right here on the screen. Kay did this wonderful little ladder logic program show everybody so here right here you'll see the, the the block that he set up for what we what we just created the tag all the nodes so now let's give it a quick run command right here and see if this will take off and you can hear our drive running you can actually see it spinning right here and i can change the speed right here give it a different frequency reference. Let's take it a little bit slower. And you can see it. Change it down to 25. You can hear it audibly slowing down. Let's crank it on up to 60. You hear it going up there, ramping back up. And there you have it. So let's stop this for a second. And we want to show you one thing we've created here at ECO to help everybody. So you'll see on my screen, integrate Yaskawa into a new or existing Ethernet IP network. Now we wrote this several years ago and Kay, our solution architect, actually built a guide to walk you through this. And let me pull this guide up for you. So right here, everything we just went through so far as how to get the drive connected, how to make it actually work, how to do the add-on instruction, We've wrote in a guide step by step to make it super easy for you to figure that out, to actually implement it and to make it happen in the field. So you'll see this guide, it's a 35 page guide. It's written for the technical person who's out there actually working with the equipment. And from there, it gives you literally step one, step two with some nice visual aids included as well to show you exactly what you need to do from a Rockwell standpoint and a Yaskawa standpoint. So I encourage you to come visit our website, use this guide and understand how easy it is to get the Yaskawa solutions on the Rockwell network all over Ethernet IP. Again, we did all this without me being connected to anything here. So thank you for taking the time with us on the Yaskawa 60 second challenge. Took it one step further. Remember people and ideas over products. So just keep solving those problems out there. And we're, we're here at ECO to help you. If you wanna come play with some of this stuff in Raleigh, we love to have people come to our lab, check it out, and we can give you a hands-on experience. Thank you.